Hello there, my name is Sitembiso, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Sometimes customers ask me how to troubleshoot failed Amazon SNS push notification deliveries for their platform application. I tell them that this can be done by enabling delivery status logs. Let me walk you through the steps on how you can achieve this. When you enable Amazon SNS delivery status logging for your platform application, your push notification transactions are logged using Amazon CloudWatch logs, including both successful and failed deliveries. As you can see, I'm already logged in to the AWS Management Console. Navigate to the SNS Console. When you are in the Symbol Notification Net Service Console, on the left navigation menu, under Mobile, choose Push Notifications. Under Platform Applications, choose the platform application that you want to enable delivery status logs for. Now you'll see the details of the platform application. Navigate and choose the Delivery Status Logging tab. Now that we are on the Delivery Status Logging configuration page, let's choose Edit on the top right of the console. In the platform application configuration, let's expand the delivery status logging optional option to configure delivery status logging. In this setup, we'll configure both successful and failed push notification deliveries. Let's configure the success sample rate, which represents the percentage of successfully delivered push notifications. This means that out of the total push notifications sent from the platform application, only X percentage of delivery status logs for those push notifications to CloudWatch. So, if you specify a value of 20% as the success sample rate, only 20% of the successfully delivered notifications delivery status logs are sent to CloudWatch. When you set this value to 100%, all the successfully delivered notifications delivery status logs are sent to CloudWatch. However, failed push notification delivery status logs are always logged to CloudWatch. Now let's configure the IAM rules that will send the delivery status logs to Amazon CloudWatch. This configuration grants Amazon SNS permissions to write logs to Amazon CloudWatch. Although you can use different IAM rules to achieve this, we'll just use the same IAM rule for successful and failed push notification deliveries. Because the role has the same permissions to write the logs in Amazon CloudWatch. Moving forward, under Service Role, choose Create New Service Role and then choose Create New Role button. This takes us to the IAM console. On the IAM console page, we'll simply scroll down and choose Allow. After this step, you are redirected to the Amazon SNS console. Finally, you can choose Save Changes. You have now successfully configured delivery status logs for your platform application. After sending push notifications to your platform endpoints, you can view the delivery status logs for those push notifications. Once again, on the AWS Management Console, under the Find Services tab, I'll enter CloudWatch and choose the CloudWatch service. In the left navigation pane of the CloudWatch Console, I'll navigate to and then choose Logs. From here, we'll see the log groups under this account. To find my application endpoint delivery logs, I'll enter SNS in the filter tab in lowercase letters. This will list all the SNS log groups in my account. Depending on the application type, you might see log groups, one for successful notifications and one for failed notifications. For successfully delivered push notifications, the delivery status logging entries are found under the log group. The log group consists of the service name, SNS, and the AWS region where the platform application is created in. For this scenario, the platform application is in the US East 1 region. Also, the log group name consists of the AWS account ID that owns the platform application resource. The platform name represents the push notification service. The application name represents the name of the platform application as identified under your SNS platform application resources. For failed push notification deliveries, the delivery status logs are found in the log group appended with failure. When you open the log group by choosing the log group name, the log streams generated for each push notification that was sent to each device appear in the console. When you open each log stream, the delivery status logs appear. For failed push notification deliveries, expand the arrow. The delivery status logs resemble the example logs. 
When troubleshooting failed push notifications, the attributes to look at are the provider response and destination. The provider response attribute shows the cause of the failed push notification delivery. The message of this attribute indicates if the issues arise due to the SNS service, the push notification service, or the platform endpoint device. For example, in this failed delivery status log, the cause of the failed push notification is due to an invalid token endpoint. To address this, you must validate the device token. The provider response message is useful in this regard in identifying where the failed push notification arises from. The destination parameter is the platform application endpoint identifier for the platform application. It's useful in identifying the endpoint device that is experiencing failed push notification deliveries. Note, delivery status logs aren't available until messages are published to an endpoint. For push notifications, successful publication occurs when Amazon SNS hands off the message to the provider. However, that handoff doesn't guarantee that the notification was delivered to the device. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.